Tonight's 7 News headlines, the Queen's final night at Buckingham Palace. Cheers of God save the Queen as her hearse rolled in, greeted by her heartbroken family. Mourners are lining the streets of London now, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Queen's coffin. Her Majesty will lie in state for the next four days and wait times are expected to be as long as 48 hours. A damning report into the state of Sydney's hospital. Some patients walking out without seeing a doctor. Western Sydney, the hardest hit by delays. And billions of dollars wiped off our stock market in under an hour after an overnight slump on Wall Street. Now, here's Angie with Sydney's Weather. Thanks very much, Mark. Grey skies are in store tomorrow with wet weather to follow. No sign of that on the horizon today. We reached a top of 20 degrees in the CBD, spot on average. Winds were northeasterly, mostly light, so it was comfortable. Manly reached 20 degrees as well. 23 for Penrith, Katoomba, 13. Now, the latest satellite image shows some cloud cover just starting to edge into western New South Wales now. That is linked to an approaching cold front and trough, which will deliver rain to inland regions tonight. There's a flood watch for tomorrow covering the central west and northwest slopes and plains in particular. That wet weather will reach the coast by about mid morning. Around the capitals, a possible late shower for Brisbane, 23 degrees. That change will mostly be felt through the southeast, though. Showers for Canberra, rain easing in Melbourne, shower or two for Hobart, Adelaide, and Perth. No change for Darwin, sunny and 34 degrees statewide. So, with that change reaching inland regions tonight, the wet weather will clear the far west during the day and reach the northeast corner late in the day. Moderate falls about the ranges, western slopes and plains. Thunderstorms in the west will be possibly severe. Daytime temperatures mostly below average under those grey skies. A cloudy day for the metro region too. Rain most likely from late morning. Tops to reach the high teens for the most part. Katoomba will cool down more substantially with a top of 11 forecast. On the water, winds will tend north to northeasterly up to 30 knots offshore. Given that, strong wind warnings are in place, not just for Sydney waters, they span the length of the coastline. Back in the CBD, a low of 11 degrees tonight. The top's going to be 19. It'll be overcast with rain, most likely from about late morning. We're not going to see more than 10 to 20 millimetres, though. Ahead by Friday, that wet weather will linger into the morning, but after that early coastal rain, light totals will be followed by quite a warm afternoon, 24 degrees in the city, getting up to 26 in our west, quite summery. So that change will come and go very quickly by Saturday. The sunshine and warm temperatures are back. So 23 degrees in the CBD, 24 in our west. That fine weather then persists into Sunday as well. Looking good. We're seeing tops in the low 20s once again. Working week not looking too bad either. We're going to see mostly sunny conditions. Tops in the low to mid 20s right the way through until about Wednesday when the next change rolls through. Won't be quite as significant as this one, though. We're looking at totals of about 10 millimetres. So once we get through tomorrow... Smooth sailing, Mark. Looking pretty good after that, Andy. Not bad at all. Thank you. That is 7 News for this Wednesday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night.